Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about pumps. I got a few different examples over here and we're going to figure out what the differences are. So first off, pumps can range in price from $10, $20 upwards of a couple of hundred dollars. All right? I think there's a sweet spot in terms of the pricing, somewhere between $50 to $100. Uh, and I've got some great examples here and let's go through each one. The first one is this $50 pump from Specialized. We like this pump, uh, it's a reasonable price. It is made out of metal, not very much in the way of plastic here, right? The base is a nice aluminum, uh, the chamber itself as well. Uh, what else have we got here? It's got a nice readable gauge. Uh, and then finally, it's got a dual head. So whether you have a Presta valve or a Schrader valve, it doesn't matter. It can accommodate it without an adapter. So that's a $50 pump, pretty nice stuff. The next pump is this nice red one here from Specialized. It's $60 as opposed to 50. So for 10 extra bucks, what are you getting? You're getting a great build quality as you do with this one over here. But you get two slight improvements. One, as a middle-aged guy, guess what? I like to be able to see things a little bit easier. This has a much larger dial than this one over here, okay? The second thing is the size of this chamber over here is larger than this one over here, which basically means it takes fewer pumps for me to get that tire inflated. All right, so for 10 extra dollars, you know, love this thing. Not to mention, I've had one for about three years now. My kids beat the living daylights out of it and it survived quite nicely. The next pump is this giant uh, Control Tower Pro. It's a $100 pump. And so what are you getting for $100? Well, first off the bat, just lifting this thing up, really, really substantive. Pretty much the entire thing is metal, including the base over here, housing the, housing the gauge. Uh, it reads up to 220 PSI, which none of us should ever have to go to. Uh, huge chamber, right? So, you know, fairly few, uh, fewer pumps, sorry, a lot fewer pumps than this thing over here. Uh, this is my go-to pump for my road bikes. I wanna show you one last pump, and that's this one over here. This green pump is made specifically for mountain bikers. How so? Well, it's got a decent sized chamber on it, which is which is helpful, but the gauge. So for mountain bikers, we fill our tires anywhere from five PSI upwards to 30, 35 tops, right? Whereas road cyclists fill their tires up somewhere between 80 to 120 PSI. Well, this gauge only goes up to 40. And so it allows you to really dial in your tire pressure on a mountain bike. Right? So on something like this, on this gauge over here, trying to go from 20 to 22 is very, very difficult because you only have this, uh, this amount of space on the gauge to, to differentiate. Whereas on over here, much, much larger uh, uh, reading here for you to deal with. Thanks for watching as usual and uh, until next time, take care.